Hello, hi, welcome to Hope Alive with Mary. Honestly, I've come really, really pissed off right now. And yes, this is not my usual mood in terms of, you know, my videos, especially with Hope Alive with Mary. I'm going to be sharing this in Musing with Mary as well. Because last night, for some reason, I didn't watch the Olympic, the ongoing Olympic um, uh, that's going on. I haven't watched any, but I didn't watch the the openness and running live. But somehow on social media, it was all over social media. The outrage, the disgust, the disappointment and everything, you know, about it. So I took the liberty to watch a little bit of it here and there to see what exactly the anger was all about. And genuinely, I felt that anger, you know, I personally feel very, very upset by what was put up as a, an opening ceremony for the Olympic. The Olympic is supposed to be a, a sport that uh, cooperates and involves nations around the world. It's a wide world thing. So I don't know why a particular set of people had to hijack it and make it their own. You know, I, I, I listened to a clip where somebody did an interview in the cities uh, of, um, of Paris and asking people what they felt about it. And what I kept hearing was and more disturbing when I felt, was, oh, I, I like the inclusive, uh, inclusivity of it. Oh, everybody is being... No, that was, that, that was nothing to... That has nothing to do with being inclusive. That was an outright, blunted disrespect for the Christian faith for our Savior, Lord Jesus, it was a blasphemy. It was a blasphemy. And the area, apart from the fact that the whole ceremony was so demonic in nature, with somebody in blue doing only God knows what, and then so another lady with like hair that had been chopped up, holding the hair, like, very, very strange and very demonic in nature. But the fact that they felt in the name of trying to be inclusive, to bring in the LGBT into the question, and then you had to disrespect another sector, a wide, for that matter, LGBT is just 0, 0.00 something of the population of the earth. And you bring millions of Christians, you, you decide to offend millions of Christians just because you want to please them. That is madness. That is sickening. That is very offensive. And I just felt I need to put my voice on this because, I mean, Christians, when are we going to wake up? I do know there's an attack against us. I attack, you know, but that doesn't mean we should sit back and take everything without, without raising a voice. How long is it going to carry on until we be, become unified in our voice to say enough is enough? You want to bring in your LGBT thing, do your th stuff. Why do you want to display, you know, what they did was then, you know, uh, the, the picture is right here. You could look at the picture of it, where they try to recreate the, the last supper that Jesus Christ had with his 12 disciples. And they had to bring in drag queens into it, children and all manner of nonsense to depict that. Why couldn't you just create and do your LGBT thing and leave Christ out of it and leave Christianity out of it? This is completely wrong on every level. It is repulsive. It's annoying. And not else, in fact, is the least, is the very mild word to describe what they did there. Could they try it with any other religion? Can they try that with Mohammed? That Olympic would have been over before it even started. Why not Buddha? Why not, you know, the, the Sikh God or whatever? Why would they pick on Jesus to do that? If there was nothing, there's no direct agenda behind it. Why? This is so wrong on every level. And then there was somewhere that, you know, I haven't had a good look at it or watch at it because I know somebody was talking about it that they, they created a horse on, uh, on the water, something from, the, from Revelation. They also brought the golden calf into it. What, what was the essence of all that? With the, the LGBT community doing all that nonsense. What is the essence? What are they trying to put out? Enough is enough of this nonsense. Enough is enough. Christians need to be unified in one voice and say, no, you cannot shut us up you cannot steal our voice if you, you try anything they say you are being a bigot you are uh, homophobic you are this and give you all manner of names so what do you call this a direct affront on the body of christ what name do you want to put on this and it's okay and the people who need to speak are quiet and it's interesting that a few muslims here and there are putting in their voice to it at the moment 
they are really also upset about it. They found it very offensive because they consider Jesus as a prophet. But we who consider Jesus as our Savior, what are we doing? How long will this nonsense carry on? How long? Honestly, this needs to stop. I need you to share this video. I make it viral. I need to put up our put out our voice. Do something. Say something. I hear a lot of a lot of Christians have saying it that you know this has to be they, they are going to boycott it, and I agree with that. I agree with that. I'm going to boycott it. I don't have time. I mean that's that's rubbish. A statement has to be put out. Please do share this video. Let it go viral. Let people hear about it. And let the outcry and out, you know, the, 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 the discuss that we feel about it be made known. All right. I just felt I should rant on that. This is new scene with Mary and hope I like with Mary. Just really very upset. Jesus is still Lord. No matter what happens, he's king. And there's nothing they can do to change that. And we must keep preaching the gospel. We must be standing by the truth, which is the word of God. We don't have individual truth. We have the truth, which is the word of God. And we must continue to stand on that truth. I, yeah, I don't know whether or not this bless anybody, but I know, I know, I have made my voice known. I think you should do it as well. All right, take care now. See you around very soon again. Don't forget to like, don't forget to share, don't forget to leave me a comment. What do you think about it? Did you watch it? What did you think about it? All right, bye-bye.